Hello, it's me, Brandon Burns, aka Rally Ruffin from YouTube, and I'm going to be doing another DVD review. It, it has both the first, this, this movie I'm about to review has both the first movie and the sequel. It is a classic 80s, I guess you'll say, huh, uh, comedy slash action slash, sorry, comedy slash action slash a little bit of sci-fi, I guess. It is, uh, Ghostbusters. Yep. Is it something strange in the neighborhood? Who are you going to call? Baby Ghostbusters. Da -da 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 -da. If there's an invisible man, you know, sleeping in your bed, ow, who are you going to call? Baby Ghostbusters. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Ghostbusters. Oh, shit. I love that song by Ray Parker. I think that's his one hit only, I mean, one hit wonder, but the Ghostbusters, both produced and directed by Ivan Reitman, but uh, both part one and part two were written by Dan Atro and Harold Ramis, two of the Ghostbusters. You know, it stars, you know, Bill Murray as Dr. Peter Victim, Ernie, Her uh, Ernie Hudson as a uh, Winston Churchill. I mean, Winston Zinnemore. How do I get his name right? I forget his last name sometimes. Winston. Oh, it's Winston. I forget. But Harold Ringo says uh, Egon Spengler. And then that then really does uh, Race Bats. Race Dance. Yeah. yeah. Winston Zinnemore. I think that was Ernie Hudson's character name. Character name but the Ghostbusters is about these four. Well, Bakeman, Ants, and um, oh shit, I don't know, Bakeman, Stance, and Egon are three, I guess you would say scientists who are studying ghosts, they always been a fashion bait, a fashion, you know, that, they always, they always been a, a fashion, you know, they always been obsessed with ghosts, catching ghosts or whatever, so at first we see them at the college, at a New York college, but the professor doesn't like them, so he kicks them out. And you know, there's a scene at the beginning of the first Ghostbusters where they go to the library, they get scooped out by that ghost librarian. That is so hilarious, funny. And they went and they decided to go into business for them, business for themselves, and they find this abandoned fire, abandoned firehouse. We've been abandoned here for years, and they kick the place, and um. That's when, they, that's when they become Ghostbusters. And then meanwhile, there's a backstory about this lady, Sigourney Weaver. Uh, I mean, she plays Dana Barrett. I can't remember that. And she she, she has a next door neighbor that's a nerd, Rick Morantis, Lewis Telly. Oh, he was funny, hilarious. He has a hot for her, but... As she goes back to her apartment, that's where some strange, strange shit happens up. Uh, Especially when she goes to the refrigerator to see that monster demon dog that says zoo. Yeah, zoo. And so, so you know, before that happens, she sees the TV was turned on by a sandwich. She saw the commercial for the Ghostbusters. That advertisement for the Ghostbusters. So she goes to the ghost house, I mean, the Ghostbusters headquarters. And Peter Lakeman wants to help her, if you know what I mean. So he goes to her apartment, investigate, finds nothing, but they don't do after that. But I mean, there's, there's going to be a big scene. I don't know how I'm going to pronounce it right. First one. Well, later on, they fight, uh, they fight, uh, it's slime of the ghost at the hotel. Has Dan at or say that's the ghost of church. But. That's when, the, that's when the Ghostbusters, the first three, become real famous. And then Winston, I mean, hurt, I mean, hurt so much to join the team. He gets hired right away. And that's when the, later on in the movie, that's when the dogs, the ghost dogs, or whatever you want to call them, demon dogs. That night when Lewis was having a party, after they come out and possess him and Dana. Trying to, you know, we met the ghost of Gozer, one of the most evil spirits in the world, and the first one. And that's when the things get real interesting. They gotta go back to Dana's apartment and fight Gozer and the 
dogs and the safe of marshmallow man man that's what i'm going to tell you about this movie there's more to it but i just feel like telling the first one part two okay here's part two this one nobody really likes part two but i thought part two was okay it's five years later and the ghostbusters have a different job but the like that beginning of the movie where Ray and Winston were at that birthday party, no matter, and the kids ready to give a crap about them. It was, was kind of sad, but Egon is doing some, was doing some study on human rela- relationships or something. And Peter, I don't know what he was doing for a living. Oh yeah, that's right, he was a host of a psychic show. Anyway, so Dana, she has a son named Oscar. And something strange happens when you know, Oscar's baby carriage gets pushed by it by itself and then it gets scared. She calls back the Ghostbusters for, for help, even though they're not working. They check out her apartment, then later that night uh, they go to the sewer and Ray accidentally hits something that knocks the whole power out of the blackish. I mean out you know the it was a blackout. And later on they were at court and when the judge is going to find them guilty, uh, that's when the ghost of the Spatelli brothers, I think they have, that's how you pronounce the name, murderers who got the electric chair, come out and try to kill the judge. That is so hilarious, so funny. So the Ghostbusters, they reunite and they get back together, and people like them again. And there's, meanwhile, there's another back story about Dana, of course. This Yaddish, played by Peter McNichol. I remember him being the movie, and he was also Baby Jimmy. So you know, you probably know who he is. But there's a strange painting of Vito, the Vigo, the that evil Viking. I don't know he was was it a Viking? I can't remember, I can't remember what they call him, but the Parpepian, Parpepian, or something like that. And I am sorry, I can't pronounce it. I'm sorry, but he wants to rule the world, and he possesses Yanish, and he wants baby Oscar Dana's baby to be reincarnated in and that's when the Ghostbusters gotta come and save the day quick there's also this evil slime that's terrorizing the whole city and the city and the ghosts of the Titanic ship that's a funny scene comes back and when the Titanic the passengers are there their ghost just walks in cheech a cheeky cheech and chong he sees it well better late than ever so the Ghostbusters They try to blast it with their, you know, what do you call that? Their packs, their Pucha, Chochon pack, I can't pronounce it, you know what I'm talking about. That failed, so they decided to bring the Statue of Liberty to life. That's the most famous scene in the movie, the Statue of Liberty comes, walks to the museum and busts the glass with their torch. Porchon pack, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was about to say Porchon pack, I'm sorry. Oh well, I don't know how I am. And you know, the Ghostbusters are saved the day at the end of the movie. Both movies are good movies, you know. Even two, I know a lot of people didn't like two very much. Bill Murray even said he didn't like two very much. But I thought both of them were really good, and for years they were trying to do a Ghostbusters 3. I thought they did Ghostbusters 3 for some reason. For some reason, I always. Dream that there was a Ghostbusters 3, but there wasn't. I don't know, I guess. I guess you would say that live action Ghostbusters video game that came out in 08 or 09 is the Ghostbusters 3. I can say you guys will say that's Ghostbusters 3 right now. Because they did that remake with the women. I heard it got bad reviews. You know, that remake of Ghostbusters was just a girl. I guess it's alright. I mean, I, I don't really like shit knowing movies that much. Even the crappy ones, because I love crappy movies too, but, and yeah, what can you say? So, check out Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2. I also remember the classic Sega video game, uh, Nintendo. Ghostbusters 2, Nintendo. Ghostbusters 2, Atari. And Ghostbusters Sega. They had a lot of Ghostbusters video games. I, you might. You might know what I'm talking about if you watch the Angry Video Game Nerd. That's a cool channel, by the way. But anyway, check out the Ghostbusters 2 and Ghostbusters 1 and 2. And please subscribe to my channel. That's it. I'm about to leave. Who are you going to call the Ghostbusters, of course? Have a good one.